I didn't see this coming. I didn't see this happening. This man, who asked us not to identify him, says he was with Matthew Upton just an hour before he was shot and killed. When I seen him, he was perfectly cool. Like, he was happy, you know, cheerful. Like, we talked about uh, this game called Assassin's Creed that he won't get for his uh, kids and everything for their system. Upton talked with WLKY in February when he fought off a man he said was trying to rob him at gunpoint for a gaming system. His friend says he doesn't know why anyone would have a problem with him. He was chill. He was friendly to everybody. Like, I ain't never seen him mad, angry, raise his voice, nothing. Police are investigating what led to the shooting, but this man says there was something fishy going on Sunday night. Last night, he was just busy. Like, you would think we had a club over last night. It was deep. He wouldn't elaborate, but said when he left Upton's apartment to walk back to his, he noticed more people around than usual. I was a lot of people out in the parking lot. Like, it was like people was lost out here last night. We had a lot of people lost. Upton's friend moved from Victory Park to St. Matthews. We try to get away from, you know, people dying every day, you know, always hearing gunshots and stuff. But now he says he's not sure anywhere is safe. So we're trying to raise a better community, but instead right now, our community is going to the gutter. The last deadly shooting here in St. Matthews was in 2015. That was also at the Mallgate Apartments. In that case, jurors found the suspects not guilty. Reporting live in St. Matthews, I'm Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.